So, okay, let's get back into it. I, uh, I think I know what I need to do. Hello, YouTube. So I am Grimwit. This is Conarium. Um, so, I did not, I did, I did not skip a game critical item. But I think I did skip an entire section of the game, which might affect the way that the uh, game is played. The fact that they let me means that there's probably a split here. All right, we jump in. And, uh, okay, 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 okay. This one. So I don't know if this is true. So we'll see. So the issue here, apparently, is that I can use the axe here, but I have to equip it, which is an option that I, I had, but I just didn't, it didn't register. We, we had always had this option and I just didn't do it, anything about it. I can't move it. Oh. Nice on the track is obstructing uh, so missing controls. Yeah. I, I I haven't had to do this with anything yet. So I didn't know that I could do it. So I've moved it with my mind. Uh, let's go ahead and unequip this. Or that. Hello. Highlight anything of interest, or does that just run into the wall? Okay, that just runs into the wall. Oh, wow, that's bright. Oh, hey! If these are lit up, then maybe the one next to the ivy is lit up, too. However, yeah, when we saw the, uh, the crew quarters earlier, and instead I just turned around to see where I came from and walked through that, uh, I believe that, uh, flubbered up a couple of things. Oh, no, wrong side. Right? Right the wrong side? Yeah, this side. Hey, it worked. Be gone, Ivy. Ivy, be gone. That looks familiar. Let's examine that real quick. An ornamental object with a gently glowing stone in it. So, now that I know that the axe is equipable, we have to start chopping everything, right? We, we have to start chopping it all. That's, that's not an axe. That's nothing like an axe. Oh! I can't just chop anything. It has to be specific things, like say this. Can I chop this? Yes, I can. Axe all your problems away. Axe all your problems away. 
Hey, it's Lightning Hound. Long time no see, man. You have found a secret. It what? That's a secret? Dude. dude. Oh, grab your gun, we'll have so much fun when you axe all your problems away. So I've been missing out on secrets. It's amazing what you can do when you find a, an entirely other optional mechanic. Okay. Ornamental object with metallic parts engravings and a sandstone rock depicting elder thing from this the center. Take. Oh, it's a trophy item. We remember those, right? I've been getting trophy items constantly. Here's like uh, a couple of books. And this thing. Yeah, I'm getting a good look at this. Which is a silly thing. Mm-hmm. But glad I'm looking at all of this artwork. I mean, somebody did render this. This isn't like nothing. But uh, also, why am I looking at all these statues? Okay. We've got a couple of options now. We can either go to the weird room, which I think is this way, or we can go to the sort of elevated area because of game mechanics lol, I, I guess. I, it I, it kind of makes sense. I'm an archaeologist. I should be looking at this shit, right? Anyway, so we got this place, the key keyhole hallway, or this place. Yeah, let's go for the keyhole hallway first. Sup, mummy? Okay, we'll play with this. I'm assuming this will power it up or some shit. I don't know. Crystal I have doesn't fit here. Oh. Oh, all right. I didn't expect nothing. So I was looking at maybe this. And I was thinking about when I play, um, when I play uh, Genshin Impact, I, I see certain textures and it makes me want to chop those textures to break around things to get like, I don't know, whatever those things are called, the amino seals that you use on the statues. I was thinking maybe Okay, let's do this. Hey, why? Why did I why? Oh, oh. Well, all right. Th thank you. Weird lizard people who are either taller than me or have a grand vision of himself. Uh, I hope, I hope, it's off to work we go. So what's the background for this game? Mountains of Madness. That, that isn't just the throwaway thing. This is absolutely based off of Mountains of Madness by H.P. Lovecraft. There's a lot of Lovecraft references into this, of course. Um, yeah, sure. Let's not go the obvious route. Let's go to the not obvious route. They'll never expect it. Or they will. I'd like to ask you a question!
physics. Now that I know I can do that, I'm going to do that all the time. Oh, hey! What up, brother? So, humans were here. And, okay, that's a foot. Uh, yeah. And another human. Okay, so these guys were, like, fucking in, uh, entombed. Ooh, right over the pineal gland. Read the description. Sure. A feathered mask I took from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting places. Okay, yeah, that is fine. Signs of color, the British term spelling of color, that can be seen on the now solidified feathers made me think of how flamboyant it might have once been. Well, let's take it. I have a trophy. It was the Vikings. God damn Vikings, they end up everywhere first. Uh, I feel like I'm getting in and over my head. Yeah, we're straying a little bit too far from the original area, because I do eventually want to see where those lizard folk went. So let's check that out real quick and then we'll rush back. Won't do anything of the kind. I just get lost. Oh no, it's up here. Yeah, through here. Uh oh, getting that feeling again. That feely feeling that feels feely. Ah. The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. They all have uh, symbols, glyphs. Mean on your your boat with the little no navigations you're bound to find somewhere that no one else has been to. I guess it's true. The trick is not knowing where you're going. I don't remember this symbol. That glyph doesn't ring any bells. So this one does. Hmm. This symbol is exactly the same with the one I saw in the vision about repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. Yeah, this one's missing a couple. I don't remember this symbol. There is another one that looked like a clown. It's, uh, it's down here, but I can't look at it unless it's got a gem. That glyph doesn't ring any bells. Nope, not that one. The symbol on this stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. Hmm. The symbol on this stone is illegible. Okay, so we have one symbol we recognize. I don't remember this symbol. And that is. Let's see where I'll find it. This one. Oh, okay. I'll just, I'll just take that one then.
Oh, uh, Lightning Hound, we're recording for YouTube. Say hello to YouTubes. Okay, I think these are the two dead guys. Yeah, these are two dead guys. Moving on. I gotta know who did this music. This is actually pretty good. Uh, hello. Hi. It's me. Grimwit. How are you? <laughs> From some of the bas reliefs explored in the seemingly oldest structure, which had been weathered into shapeless ruins ages ago, we learned that these reptilian creatures were the inhabitants of this eon-dead city. But... While some of them were enshrouded in special coffins, these are standing still, glued to their vertical rock coffins with an awful looking ooze. Curiously, they were firmly placed in the niches on some of the walls. See, this is what I would actually use those headdresses for, right? It's like some way to control the dead. Is that ooze? That's vaguely oozy. Huh. Mummy. Other mummy. Okay, well, that was the thing. I suspect I know where this rock I got is gonna go. Like, I'm, I think this is all optional. For funsies. Though not necessarily a secret. So, okay. If this goes where I think it goes, I mean, it goes without saying where it goes. Though, who knows? Oh, nah, not that way. Yes, that way. Okay, yeah. Uh, to the left. Goes. Goes near the rows and rows of alien toes. There it goes. Am I right? I'm right. And I'm right, I'm right. Let's get this road in the show. Always count your toes before they hatch? Yeah, exactly. But the real monsters are the friends we made along the way. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Noted down the sign, did you? A diagram consists of several symbols. Yes. Oh, consisting. I don't know if. Hmm. I tried placing the reddish crystal in the still clean tip of an odd metallic device that fitted perfectly. As I rotate the device to its original position using the control handle, the glyph... This glyph was projected onto the wall. Now I'm just getting Paimon uh, feels from this. Your blasphemy has triggered a reaction. You do that more often. You know, one thing I know about gods is that they're so self-conscious that uh, if you talk about them behind their back, they get really pissed off. That's what it means to blaspheme. It's basically, hey, hey you, you can't say that. That that hurts my feelings. 
And I'm a god, so, you know, my, my feelings matter. That's what blasphemy means, basically. Nope, nope, I'm still me. Okay. Just making sure. So it's making you hungry. <laughs> I think somewhere down the line the developers realized that uh, that running that meme and have been slowly pushing it into the game. That Paimon is uh, emergency food supplies. All right. All right. Let's find that symbol in the, among the rocks. We will solve the riddle of the rocks. Which, as everybody knows, it is so simple. It is lemon. Not this one. Mm -mm, nope. Maybe. Oh, I can't look at these anymore. Never mind. Uh, anyway, none of the none of the rocks are actually the correct one. Anyway, oranges. No, lemon. With the picture of a pineapple. That's the answer to the riddle of the rocks. Uh, you know what just occurred to me? Now that I've done that thing that I've done, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. What am I, what am I doing with that symbol exactly? Like I, I have, I have the symbol now. I, it is in my journal, and I have written it down. And I went to great lengths to get that symbol written down, which, I'm, and now, now I have it. Yep. Yep, there, there it is. It's mine. You know what? I'm gonna get that frickin' orange thing back. Oh, better to have and not need than to need and not have. Hey, wait, what if I push this? Nope, still can't push it. Fuck you, I want it back. Oh, fuck me, I'm not getting it back. What have we learned here today? Okay, let's think about this. We got a, a symbol. Is there any extra mysteries we may not have gotten? The symbol could be a direction, not just an actual cipher, but sort of a. Uh, well, clearly used on some puzzle. <coughs> oh, beg my pardon. This is about the only oddity left over. really do anything with it though. Clicking does nothing. So what else? Did something change back where we began? Let's try that. Oh, once again, good job on giving a very decent run speed. For a uh, Cyclopean architecture, you do need to run around quickly check to see if you missed out on something. 
Nope, not here. Although, the way that this blood is spreading into this uh, relief is a little unnatural, and it looks less like blood or anything, really, and more like paint. But uh, that's nitpicking. How about the boss relief? Any breakable walls? Uh, you know, I'll keep an eye out. Let me try this area first. Uh, speaking of which, let's break this shit. Fuck you. No, never mind. I, I cannot break. Break this shit. No. No, not really. Staring directly into the sun. Um, okay, well, let's keep an eye out for breakable walls then. Breakable walls, breakable walls, dun dun, breakable walls. Uh, once again, although I have discovered uh, the answer to one puzzle from last episode, it does lead to other puzzles that I have not discovered the answer to. Like, what the fuck am I doing? And where am I? And how can I be a teenager in love? Or why must I be? Why must I be a teenager in love? Is Zeus a man or a baby? These are legitimate questions. Okay. Uh, we are struck with a great lack of direction. Let's leave the flashlight on just in case. These are unusual rock formations for a couple of reasons. I like them. They make me think, what? Hmm? Can't go back there. evil face again. Can I break you? Nope. To the lumberjack, every problem requires an axe. Cut down a tree? Get an axe. Need to break through a door? Get an axe. Wife bothering you? Get an axe. Moist. Once again, I remind you, some, somebody lit these candles. They, they clearly have melted, which means they weren't here forever. So, like, yeah. And they took their time lighting these candles. Like these? Oh, okay. Hi. What up? Uh, this is clearly painful to look at, but, you know, I need to know what's... What?
Oh, oh God. What was that all about? A, a vision, perhaps? Oh, I think somehow it has something to do with the intense headaches. Oh. Blood? Hope it's not Chris's blood. There we go. I've sla saved it to slot 18. Uh. Hi there, human thing. Why does every spooky event have to have a heartbeat in the ears? Uh, to represent a uh, high adrenaline pumping into your heart, forcing it to pump the blood very quickly so that the body has enough oxygen to possibly run the fuck away? Just a guess. Well, that did something? I mean, that was damn spooky. I think we can all agree. Two spooks for me. Let's make like an exorcist and get the hell out of here. So, uh... The altars... What? What? Thought I heard singing. The altar is next. That's the only other thing I can think of. Let's go over here. Take a look over here. Uh, no. Okay, is this just a matter of, hey, let's run around until something happens? In which case, like, back over here. This, incidentally, this is not... Without without any direction to go, if I'm meant to stumble upon the right place accidentally, it's pretty pretty poor puzzle design. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay, no, I thought that was solid. No, that's, that's wider. The blood vessels surrounding the ear are very thin, so when your heart beats faster, they get pressurized to an extent. While this doesn't lead to much of an increase in hearing, it does convey blood pumping noises in a greater, to a greater level. I didn't know that. Like, genuinely. the ivy earlier? Is it mirror time? No. Uh, looking at this? Nope. What about the sundial? happens when all the capillaries is just why we function better when st in stressful situations. Over a short term, that is true. In the long term, the body begins to eat itself. That's how people get sick with fear. Actually, it does all kinds of crazy shit to your body. Fear's neat. Uh, what isn't neat is, um... Lol, what am I doing? Uh, let's try the crystal areas again with with all the different crystals. Just checking around, making sure. It's good to have some faces where the eye holes look like a screaming face. Okay. 
Okay, we have now been everywhere in this cave. We've released the skeletons. And now we got nothing. Let's go back to the big beginnings and These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. Huh. Maybe this is where we're supposed to go next. So the big question is, how? No, nothing's coming up there. Speaking of the heart, I've had people can actually die due to heartache from losing a significant others. God, I've felt that. The connective tissue tears itself apart around the heart. Probably a welcome situation. Can I? This seems like light is flowing through that. Can I? Can I not chop that? C come here. I want to chop you. No. All right. Okay. C come on, gang. Let's look for some clues. We saw. Octopus Man Ghost release the lizard person skeleton and replace it with a human skeleton. You know, for lulls. And, uh. However, the heart can explode due to fear. I, there, I've heard that it's pretty rare, but there are some young people who can die of a heart attack for that reason. Oh, let me put that axe away, it's in my way. What was here? I didn't pick up anything from here. There's a clove. Oh, that that was a place I could have gone. Not anymore. Skeleton, you're supposed to know everything now. Um, nothing here. Oh, hi, cat. Cat has visiting me again. She's like, hey. Pet me, pay attention to me. <clears throat> there you go, kitty. I hope you're picking up some of these purrs. Alright, cat, I'm going back to my game. She she does understand that I'm busy. And she does understand that I won't pay too much attention to her if she does this. But she does it anyway. Like she'll sit on the, uh... What the hell? Oh, there we go. She'll sit on the, uh, the arm of the chair that I'm on, even though it's swivelly. Can I chop that? No. And just perch there for a while. And eventually she'll, she'll give up and go away. I can give her a couple of scritchins for her time and then move on. Wait. Wait. Wasn't there a fourth one here? Was is that in my imagination? It seems like there were four of these guys. Hey. 
Hey, the Loki's saying hi to you. And she's left. <laughs> Spending too much time away from her. Man, I give her plenty of attention. She knows that if she jumps into my lap, especially if I'm sitting on the couch or in the recliner, that I will give her all the attention she wants. And at times she will even sit there for hours. Well, maybe an hour and a half, I think, is the, is the record. But she gets plenty of attention from me. She's just greedy. She's a greedy kitty. That's not enough. You have to worship her. Oh, well, that's just not going to happen. So they were saying... No, not that way. They were saying that uh, a couple of the statues of lizard people are golems that are used to do work, like service, such as clear away things, right? And one of the four golems, or one of the four statues seems to be missing, which could have been a golem. So, I imagine that the ghosty got a hold of the lizard bone thing and either had it possess one of the statues, or, I'm just remembering that wrong, that skeleton was the golem. And so, either way, one of these servants is off doing something. Excavation, or murder. It's really good for all humanity that the Eldritch Gods are based on octopoid instead of felines, because if they had been felines, we'd all be screwed. You know, there are Eldritch Gods based off of feline. A lot of people recognize Bastet as, a, uh, as an Eldritch God. Goddess? Because Lovecraft really liked cats. Enough to call them racial slurs. I'm at that point again where I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't know if I should wrap up the episode here. <laughs> and look up a way of what... Because it's really stupid, right? There's something that's really stupid that I should be doing. That, like, everybody knows. And again, the somebody who's played the game before is yelling at the, the YouTube video, right? That I've walked past it a, a thousand times, similar to being able to pull out my axe. Actually, let's take a look at what I got. I got an axe... I got glove, I got walkie-talkie, I got axe. Oh yeah, this this isn't an axe, it's a flashlight. I've got the trophy items, which I don't really see the need to look too much at. I don't have all the trophy items, though. Everyone wants to see you run around for 20 minutes. Yeah, I, I guess... That's... I think... I, I have stated before that Natch Evil streams are so exciting that you will count tiles. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I hate to pull this again. Especially, this feels like it should be obvious, but it's not to me for some reason, so... Let's take another break. Kind of the statues even. Yeah, I know, right? So, okay. Uh, I'm out of tea, aren't I? Nope, I've still got plenty. But uh, I think it's not quite an hour 
I'm, I'm just at a loss for now. So, so long, YouTubes. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, whenever that is.